Hi, good morning. It's another beautiful day. It's day for Global Preference Network or Urban Survival UK. As you can see, we're down on the seafront today. Uh, we're going to do part two of the berry foraging, and today we're going to be looking for sea buckthorn uh, with all its uses and that, which I'll post on here. We did the berry foraging part one, which was a video that we've done a few weeks ago. Now we're back to the same place, and we're going to be taking some slopes, fawns, and some sea buckthorn. So let's go and have a look. And over there, uh, about there, is where that tunnel is where I've done a couple of my videos. There you go, beautiful coastal morning. This, this is a nice hawthorn bush, watch out for the hornets there. I mean, look at this. Beautiful, and as you've seen in the uh, first video, which I mentioned, we did hips. Hose hips and hawthorn jelly, hips and horse jelly, okay, which we've given most of it to our neighbours and stuff, but we stored some as well. Okay, that's a beautiful hawthorn tree, that one. Okay, gonna head round. Right, sea buckthorn is called such because we need to move towards the sea, which is over there, you can see just through there over there so we're going to go across the back there but I'm going to go because I seem to have found let's have a look I'm back at my old rusty bridge that I love so much strangely okay. there you go so I'm going to get a picture from the top of that you know, this is from the first level of there very nice I mean, this bridge was closed for years anyway, so years and years when the old Hoff Court was here. Okay, let's have a look around. Just goes to a dead end, really. But let's have a. There you go. So I can get a good view from up here. Very windy, actually. from the top okay then we go all the way over the cliffs we've got more berry foraging abilities nice little uh, thing at the bridge there you go let's go back downstairs Right, sea buckthorn. Um, this is what we've been looking for. It's what we're going to forage today. Obviously, as the missus just said, I was trying to zoom in, but it's got some little fawns on there, which makes it quite hard to forage. But like, literally, you can see the amount on there. And on the screen, you can see the uses and the benefits and stuff that I've put on here. Because this is what we didn't get last time. We found it, we discovered it, and we've never used it before or anything like that. So we looked into it, and it's apparently a super berry, like a super food berry. So, I mean, as you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds on here. So we're going to forage these, and uh, I think the mist is going to make some jam or something with them. Okay, there you go. This is sea buckthorn. Right, now let's carry on for a walk around the coast. Slows. Again, just picking a few of these today. Well, here's a random one. We have random tomatoes growing on the seafront. Someone's obviously chucked a tomato here in the past and it's grown into plants. That's another bonus. There you go.
that's the seed bug fawn that we wanted to have a look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that home and uh, the wife, I say we, it's not going to be me actually because she's the brains behind all the foraging and the, uh, the preserving and stuff like that. So this is why we make a good team. Okay, so she's going to be like making jams and jellies, possibly dehydrating it. And like I said, it's a superfood. You've seen on the screen what it's good for. Okay, look it up yourself. If you're near the coast or not far from the coast, go and have a look and see if you can find it. Look out for the striped leaves and the bright orange berries. And when you pop them, smell, because they smell like orange. It's really weird. Okay, right, it's been emotional. I shall see you for the next video soon. Please like and subscribe. Take care.